Good morning everyone. Today I am going to explain the wall timing diagram of four stroke inputs. So as we know that wall takes a finite mechanical time to get open or to get closed. So we have to open or close these walls within some advanced timings so as to achieve proper exhaustion and proper suction stroke. Secondly, there are many lags in the combustion pro uh, process like the chemical lag, the physical lag, the ignition lag. So advanced sparks are required so as to initiate a proper and achieve a proper combustion. So the inlet wall gets open 10 to 15 degrees before TDC so as to properly get open by the time the piston reaches TDC. As the piston moves out in the suction stroke, the fresh charge is drawn in through the intake valve. When piston reaches BDC, the compression stroke starts, but the inertia of fresh charge tends to come into effect and continue to move into the cylinder. We can take advantage of this. So the walls, the inlet walls are closed 10 to 15 degree after BDC so as to suck maximum charge. But if it is more than 10 to 15 degrees, the charge will flow backward into the cylinders. So it is decided according to the speed of the engine. For low speeds, it is 10 to 15 degrees and for high speed engines, it is about 50 to 60 degrees. Now at the end of compression stroke, combustion has to happen. But due to lags, we know that this process cannot be isocoded. So we gave some advanced spark like 15 degrees before TDC so that before the piston comes to TDC, almost the total combustion process or major combustion process should be completed. After this, the power stroke starts. So we know at the end of the power stroke, we have to open the exhaust valves. But we open the exhaust valve before coming to BDC because of the same reason that at TDC we want that the exhaust valve should be fully open. For low speed engines, it's about 25 degrees and for high speed engines, it, it is as large as 50 degrees. If exhaust valve didn't open or didn't start at BDC, the pressure inside the cylinder would be considerably high. And the work done required to expel the exhaust gases would be considerably very high. So we open the exhaust valve before coming to BDC. And after that, the exhaust process starts. Now, the exhaust valve is closed after TDC. This is because we want that maximum amount of exhaust gases should be sucked out of the or should be thrown or expelled out of the cylinder. So exhaust valve is closed after 5 to 10 degrees in low speed engines and in high speed engines it is about 25 to 30 degrees. Now we can see there is a small overlapping timing where the inlet valve and the exhaust valve both are open. This helps in expelling out the exhaust gases and in proper suction of uh, the fresh charge. But if this overlap is very high, we can expect that uh, uh, fresh charge will be expelled out and exhaust gas will remain into the cylinder. So this is kept according to the speed of the engine. For low speed engines, it is about 15 to uh, 20 degrees. And for high speed engines, it is as uh, big as 30 degrees. So this was all about uh, four stroke engines, wall timing diagram. And thank you and have a nice day.